ditto stands for drop in the ocean. It's about a single drop and the impact that it can make in terms of creating ripples of change, particularly around regenerative tourism. Regenerative tourism is tourism that plays a positive role in a, in a local community, the local environment, the people in the place. We want to help create experiences where the visitor is enriched by that experience, but also the local community and culture is enriched as well. Today, bringing a, a bit of a sustainability story here for a number of people on board to help industry make changes for the better protection of the environment. Yep, ten is four. Hi, my name's Hayden Smith. I'm the founding trustee of the Sea Cleaners Trust. And uh, five days a week, we've got a, a small fleet of boats that are, are going out, picking up rubbish, cleaning up uh, the waterways within Auckland and Northland. Uh, and we are engaging with communities, getting volunteers on board to support what we do to help educate those wider communities for the issues that we're seeing with plastics in our water. So we're just adding a, a little piece of the story uh, of what we do to make sure that we can help promote ecotourism into the, the travel industry as the, the world starts to reopen and getting visitors back to our shores as well. So when people come to Piritahi Marae, uh, our hope is that they're able to gain an insight into Te Ao Māori, learn about kaitiakitanga in relation to the māra or the kai gardens, the vegetable gardens that we have here at the marae and in relation to our mātauranga, what our responsibility is to the natural world for the well-being of our taonga species, for the well-being of our environment and for the well-being of all of us. Now more than ever, uh, you know, we all collectively need to be thinking about our responsibility to our environment, whether that's in the way that international visitors experience our country, as much so as it is in passing on that knowledge to the next generations. Mm -hmm.